Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, what is the reality behind the idea that everything is made of sound waves? Is this true and is it related to zikr? Yeah, we have, we have that or oh, somebody complained, I think it was a, a Western person came on and said, what is this? The shaykh told somebody to buy a book, then buy two books, this is all about selling books. So I don't know, you know we're not a mega church with 10 million followers and that they buy 10 million copies. We're lucky if we sold a few hundred copies of the book to all the whole world. So this is not a huge operation, you know millions of copies of books. So amongst my 200 students, yeah they should all buy the book because then I would at least sold 200 books and they all have a curriculum. When you go to college and they sell you a $300 garbage book with garbage knowledge, what was the benefit of that? So a $40 book of realities that when the internet turns off you have this book for your eternity. May Allah raise you with the knowledge of that book. Even though you read it, didn't read it, you respected the Muhammadan haqqaiq and you, you provided an ihtiram and a respect. And that's why we describe whatever this shaykh is doing, it's not for himself, he didn't write a book for himself. It came from his heart but to give from his heart what his belief and what his life's work was, then those whom love him and want to support him and show their love for him, they cherish the book because Mashaykh brought it. As a result this is what he struggled for, this is what his whole life and his seclusions, his difficulty, his tears, his happiness, his accomplishments are the manifestation of these books, these, these knowledges, these realities and all of the book is on the website for free for people. Anyone reads the website, it's the same knowledge but it's a sign of showing respect, showing love, having a, a feeling of nearness. So that has an immense, immense reality into these, these, this way of knowledge. And it can't be understood because so many people are burned out by religious dogma and mega churches and mega preachers and, and uh, flying jets, uh, five jets, six jets here and there. So it's not the same. When you come across realities and, and haqqaiqs and, and these types of treasures, they are truly treasures from the Divinely Presence. And the way that you treat that treasure is the way that Allah will open within your heart. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan, There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. It's reality. If the person doesn't treat it as a treasure, why would Allah open anything? Because it's each individual person's faith. When they have something and they cherish it, Allah opens for them based on their iman, their faith, makes it to be something glorious. If they believe it to be nothing, Allah opens nothing from it. So the same cup of water is water for someone, but for another it can be zamzam and kawthar which is the dress of all their eternity and all their reality. So these are, these are you know immense oceans of faith and each person has their individual faith in which Allah will dress them, bless them and reward them individually based on what they believed, inshaAllah. What was the question? Uh, what is the reality behind the idea that everything is made of sound waves? Is this true and is it related to zikr? Yeah, how we came up with that is that, yeah, you have to get the meditation book. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's the whole, 
<laughs> meditation book is that everything is manifesting. So for you to have a form, if everything in the world has a form, these are dunya people say, oh yeah of course there's a form, yeah. But to have that form it has to have a light. So this is a science and what they call quantum theory is they started to study the light of everything. That light has atomic reality. Those atoms have a, a reality of what they call string theory. So they said that this energy, everything's energy is, is existing by a vibration. And Allah yusabbihu wa bihamdi for Allah for everything is praising. So the string theory is Allah's praise, everything has a praise from the Divine. As a result of its praise it makes the energy, as a result of the energy begins to manifest its lights and its atomic realities. And as a result of that praise and that manifestation now you see it in this world of form. So directly affecting the praise will directly affect the form and that's why the devil knows that. So if he takes the praise of people to be bad and bad sounds, bad language, bad vocabulary, don't you think it would destroy the light and the form and the atoms of that individual? And that's why then that Japanese scientist he had an experiment on the molecules of water. And he looked at the elements of water and said, good words and they had beautific crystals. And then he began to say harsh and angry words and they became darkened and they lost the form of their crystal. So they respond, everything responds to a praise, a sound and a vibration. So definitely towards the last days the sound will be weaponized, they will fight with sound. They will fight with energies and that's why in the last days the holy books came out based on sound. Qur'an is a recited book in which the beatific recitation is producing immense powers and sounds. Before the Qur'an was then the Injil, the spoken word. So that's because the last days is then preparing for events of the last days. Qur'an is the most powerful sound to battle against what shaitan is doing and what he's planning on doing of sound and vibrations. So sound is everything, the one who understands sound, raises their frequency, raises their energy, raises their illumination. We talked about that in the meditation, in the talk of making muraqaba. So yeah of course if you're vibrating and you're connecting with the shaykhs who vibrate at a very high frequency then you begin to change all the vibration and you can crush all the lower, lower contamination. Because the shaitans and bad energies they can't take high frequency sounds, high paradise sounds, they run or get destroyed from that energy. So that's why Qur'an, salawats and zikrs have a tremendous cleansing in a room and in an environment because the vibration of it has an angelic reality that crushes all, all the lower frequencies and bad energies inshaAllah. And that's what Qur'anic healing and the salawats for healing is all based on the tariqah understandings. Every time you make a salawat to heal and make salawats for yourself, you're doing your own healing by the vibration and the emanation of energies that you're putting upon yourself. And we gave talks about spelling. Every word and everything that people are talking designed from shaitan. So all of the western understanding of spelling is their words are based on casting spells upon people. Ramar is the calling and summonsing of demons. So yeah these are all, all immensely powerful understandings in the last days. That's why everything is based on, on the heavens and, and Allah Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings be upon you, not hell oh, hell oh, that, that this, is a, this is a casting of a difficulty on somebody, inshaAllah. We have all these talks on all of this. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, how one can perform zikr, multiple zikrs in timeless reality through their light, in soul reality? 
and build a connection in the world of light with the malakut. Please pardon my ignorance. Yeah, but through the meditation, everybody who meditates and makes their connection, their connection and then they begin to make their zikr and their connection is much more powerful than through their lisan. That's why Naqshbandiya zikr is khafi, is silent. But because people don't know it, then in this land of dawah, then it's necessary to bring people towards the reality. Because if we did the silent zikr, nobody in the room would know what was happening because they're all coming new to Islam. So in the lands of dawah and propagation of uh, Islam, everything became loud so that people could hear the surahs, hear the chantings. The one whom training at home makes their meditation and then begins to uh, 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 and make salawats khafi in their heart so that it can explode with its energy within the heart and soul of people. It's never out loud, the out loud is just for the audience in the room so that the enjoyment, enjoining and uh, enjoying it inshaAllah. Mm, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Is it true that some people have a bigger battle with shaitan than others? How can they save them from bigger and furious attacks. How can we save them? Yeah, everyone has to worry about their own attack and they try their best to deal with what they can and to, to do what they have to do to protect themselves and uh, everybody has to sort of work on themselves. The one who has more work and more attacks then tries to do more madad, more support, more practices so that everything can be balanced. But you can't uh, fix what you don't have, don't be distracted by other people and think that you can fix other people when we didn't fix ourselves. We said before like a plane going down they say, put the mask on your face first. If you're too busy trying to put the mask on everybody in the room most likely you will have passed out as soon as the oxygen in the plane drops. So busy yourself with yourself, pray that you survive through all these difficulties, make sure your connection is strong, your practices are strong, your support is strong, your belief is strong and inshaAllah sort of everybody try their best to, to do their best and encourage others to come to the shaykh, not to you. So you say, oh well you're having a lot of problems, oh you know connect with the shaykh, communicate with the shaykh, email help me, get the taweez from them that uh, keep watching the talks. If they start to rely on you that can be a big problem. It's like uh, you have a little rowboat, you have your vest, you're ready to go and some big huge guy says, let me <laughs> jump into your boat, he's going to tip your whole life over. And that's not what it's meant but that's what shaitan's trying to do is get everybody to go out and pretend that they want to be noble and help other people in their boat. But that's, that's not the system, you got your thing going, keep yourself safe and secure and everything. Anybody you see in difficult contact the shaykh so that they can also get their rowboat and make their connection with the shaykh, get their taweez. If they're not even interested in emailing and, and reaching out for help, they're going to sink your boat. So don't, don't worry about it. Because things are going to get a lot worse. If you got like five people trying to jump on your boat because they see, oh mashaAllah your life seems to be solid and moving through all these calamities and storms with no difficulty, well, of course ten people are going to come from all over jumping into your boat, come relatives that are come over, oh look your life seems like it's all together, everything's great, you know our life everything collapsed. So yeah they have to go contact the shaykh, go, go to help me, go watch the videos. But don't let them come to you to weigh you down because that's what shaitan wants is to flip your boat over because he sees that you go through these storms, alhamdulillah, mashaAllah, no problems. And shaitan just wants to flip everybody in the act of feeling that they're sincere and caring for people. But that's not the job, take your boat, if you have your kids in it just paddle and be safe. Anyone else say, this is the shaykh, this is the website, this is the email, good luck. 
Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam Are we allowed to meditate with family combined if they are new and don't know how to meditate? What was that? You run a family with your children or just bring all your relatives and meditate? Meditation is something I would recommend very private because each person may have a different connection and can build a lot of jealousy and enmity. Spiritual practices are not a sort of collective group of everybody let's sit together, oh look why they're connecting so well, their eyes are closed, they're experiencing something, I don't feel anything, I don't know what's going on. It's not a sort of group practice. The, the group practice of zikr, let's connect our hearts, inshaAllah we're going to do zikr now, then the zikr starts, Allah, Allah, Allah and do the zikr with our majlis. Don't do the zikr as if making yourself to have a zikr jama' because the burden will be thrown onto you from the people who come and if the burdens are thrown onto you and the shaykh didn't ask you to make that zikr, the shaykh speaking to you now, not the shaykh coming to you in dreams and imaginations. Because everybody has a dream and an imagination that the shaykhs are coming, that the, the heavens are telling me to do this and do that. But that's okay, say I have a shaykh, so if my shaykh told me to do it then that's enough. But if I'm going to start listening to that, that channel then it will never end. And the problem with that is if you start to listen to those inspirations, those burdens will come onto the home and onto the environment. The best is just to turn on the zikr and say that we're connecting with the shaykh, the zikr's on and let's connect our hearts and do the zikr, we can do it loud, we can do it silent. But meditation and tafakkur is best to be done private like we said in the cave, go in, retreat and connect, go in sujood and cry, ask for forgiveness and make the connection, it's usually very private and very personal and you, you make the energy and the practices and nobody should see you. Because they become jealous, why are, you, why are your eyes so closed, why are you, what are you seeing, what are you seeing? And if you start to describe then again the shaykhs will close the door. So there's not things to brag about but to reach a state of sincerity in which the servant is nothing and asking to be at the threshold of the Divine the Presence has nothing. So it has, it has a potential of making people jealous, inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam For this month, general awrad, can we complete the veil of grandeur 11,000 times praising of SubhanAllah Alim al Hakim through the month and what is its reality? It's the… we've described before on the website when you read about the hijabs and then the 12 veils of power, these are the zikr that the soul of Prophet is making that dhikr eternally as Allah's nazar is upon his soul As we enter into this month of Safa, SubhanAllah man huwa alim al hakim, Allah's dressing this tajalli upon Prophet So this is a, between Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad When we become cognizant of it, and understand it, we're asking Ya Rabbi from this immense tajalli you're dressing upon Prophet I'm within the light of Prophet let me too share in that reality. And they can recite it at once throughout the month whatever they want or they're just aware of that reality. SubhanAllah man huwa alim al hakim, alim al hakim and then all, all these knowledges and wisdoms are flowing in the month of Safar because this is Allah's dress and zikr upon the soul of Prophet Every month, every, every, every month there's a 12 hijabs over 12 months and these are uh, lights that Allah is eternally dressing upon the soul and the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah So as soon as we enter into this tajalli like going through and traversing the paradises, the heavens. So as we enter into that tajalli that is the eternal dress of that reality. And what was the other one? A fata rahmah and the secret of eighteen. So the eighteen on the hand, al-fata, sifat al-fata Allah is the opener. 
and Rasulul Rahmah is opening then the mercy from the light that he created within Muhammadun Rasulullah So that's why then Allah said, go into the cave and we shall dress you from this light. Means the light from the light of Prophet will dress those ashiqeen whom are entering with that love, they will be with whom they love. As a result Allah will dress from Al Fata an opening for them to enter the cave. And Prophet will come and dress for them Rasulul Rahmah and that that Rahmah begin to dress upon their reality. And that the light within their right hand it begin to open, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, when I go through battles with my nafs and shaitan, it seems that people around me become affected even if I'm silent and trying my best not to affect anyone, what can I do? Nothing, just shower, wash, do your practices and uh, every time you are victorious or any servant who is battling against badness, uh, the light that they have it uh, affects the home. That's so why we said the one whom is patient with every rock that is thrown to them, they glow even more. If shaitan make them to lose it, means they see it yelling, screaming, shouting, then shaitan stole that victory from them and that's why he, he makes them to explode. If the servant is patient and, and quiet means they're glowing with lights. So if you sit in your living room glowing with lights, you know, of course all, all the rodents will come out and every difficulty begin to come and yell and scream because they can't take the light. So that, that's the, the, the consequences of, of being good. So everybody has to be patient and uh, alhamdulillah give sweets to people, do things that will make their nafs to be patient and calm inshaAllah. But to know that anytime we do good practices there's a light is glowing and that's why everything around becomes difficult, it doesn't like that light and begins to become angry. So one can retreat more and isolate a little bit more and uh, give sweets to people, something so that the nafs of people are not being burned by these tajallis inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. So when we consistently practice in one place in the home, are we creating mini portal spaces that our children may benefit from in future generations? If the Definitely, home is that's what we, we've described in previous talks. Mawlana Shaykh would say, dis describe, make a maqam in your home in which all of your Nashbindi stuff is there, your prayer carpet is there, that uh, all, all that is dear to you is there and your worshipness begins to develop a light there. And as a result the traveling awliya and the spiritual beings that are in continuous movement will stop there to pray because it becomes like a maqam becomes a maqam in, in this area of where things are moving. They say, oh this is a maqam of a Naqshbandi murid of these shaykhs, they spiritually come and they begin to pray there so that they can take the barakah and also send the barakah. So that's important because they report back to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad them that we came across your ashiqeen and we prayed there for this blessing Faizan and uh, this love for whom love you and that to send them from our blessings if Allah finds any good in what we do. So alhamdulillah this is a very important because these maqams are, are powerful and the, the presence that you keep it can become very powerful in the house and become a powerful portal of energy and via that energy then many benefits will begin to come to the house especially in days of difficulty. Said by the people whom believe and they do these practices, in these areas they may be given a command and an order to med immediately go into that area and go into sujood and at that time a nuclear bomb go off and the jinn will come and shield them with an energy 
so that nothing sort of happens to them, take them into a different dimension. That was the understanding of Surat Al-Kahf and in the instant they can shield and cover a person that they move immediately into a different dimension, hundreds of years in the future away from that event and take you back to that event once it's finished. Means uh, what, what's capable and what's understandable is not, not something that can be understood but it requires the belief in which we do these things, we make these areas, we, we have this belief on the sunny day and you'll only understand its importance on the rainy day. When days of difficulty come say, SubhanAllah how Allah inspired me to do these things that it would protect me from these calamities and these difficulties. But on the time of calamity and difficulty if you want to remember like, what, what, what were we supposed to do? What did the shaykh say we were supposed to do? Then that, that's, that'll be very hard and very difficult for people to, to accomplish at that time, inshaAllah. Say the people are asking for bayat today. Bayat, inshaAllah. Let's close it off for tonight, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon, salam wa mursaleen, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.